So what's your name? Magali Contreras Villanueva. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Pascal. Likewise. So, uh, let's start walking. Okay. Okay. So, um, why did you want to take this interview? Um, well, I was super excited. I loved my high school years. Um, it was probably some of the best four years of my life. I met so many people and it's actually what got me into teaching. Oh, so you're a teacher. I am. I, I'm currently at Vaughn. I'm running their after school program. Um, but hopefully next year I'll be licensed to teach middle school. So uh, what do you want to teach? I'm still not sure. I've been teaching kindergarten for the last five years. And then last year because of COVID, I taught fourth grade. So I'm still deciding where I want to fit in. What year did you graduate from Musa High School? I graduated 2012. Were you a part of the IB program? No, I just did AP. Uh, how was your AP experience? Was it like challenging for you? Did you like it? Um, there was a couple classes that were challenging, but other than that, it was very motivating to do better and it allowed me to graduate with an honors um, diploma. Did anything you learned from AP help you after high school? Definitely time management and asking for help. Did you do any extracurriculars while you were out here? Um, so I actually started, I don't know if it's still around, but I started the dance club my senior year. It was part of my senior project. At the time it was called Colts Get Jiggy. So I don't know if you guys still have the dance club. Um, I don't think we do, which is kind of sad. <laughs> That sounds kind of interesting. Um, I also did the Hispanic club. I did it all four years. And my senior year, I was president of the club. Oh. And I did the photography club. And that was it. That's a bit of an interesting coincidence because uh, my senior year, I just joined. This is my first year in uh, Spanish club. Oh, cool. Were there any traditions at uh, Wooster that uh, you particularly liked while you were attending? Um, I loved all the senior events. So all the um, street painting, senior sunrise, senior sunset, um, Cinco de Mayo was always my favorite because uh, the Hispanic club would put it together. So that was always fun. Do you have any uh, positive memories that you can recall from uh, your senior sunrise or from street painting? Um, I think it was just being surrounded with my friends and with sharing all the memories that I still have till this day. Um, I'm still very close to a lot of the friends I went to high school with and still keep in touch with them. Have you had any involvement in a Wooster afterwards? I haven't. This is actually the first time. So this is the first time since 2012 that you're stepping back onto the campus? Uh, yeah. Well, welcome back, I guess. Thank you. This is kind of uh, similar to what we talked about before, but um, I guess, what is like your personal favorite memory from your time here? Um, I'm gonna say my senior Cinco de Mayo. Cause I realized since it was our last one, we had to go all out and we had to have the best of the best. And I'm guessing you did go all out. Then. Absolutely. We had music, food, dancing. That sounds like a fun time. Hopefully we get to do something like that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what college did you go to? Um, for my bachelor's, I went to UNR right out of high school. And for my master's, I just graduated this last May and I, got, I went to Grand Canyon University. You brought up that a while back you were a teacher. Is there any like, um, was there any hesitancy to become a teacher? Did you want to do something else and then it just didn't plan out? Yeah, actually, I got my bachelor's in social work. So I wanted to be a social worker at one point. And then it was just, I didn't have the heart for it. It was a little too hard. So I went into teaching. Did you play sports during your, uh, any year? Uh, during college. Uh, no, during uh, your time here at Wooster. Um, I just did when we had the indoor soccer tournaments during Cinco de Mayo. Uh, is there any advice you have for students looking to go to college and maybe become a teacher? 
Always, always, always ask for help. If you have a question, most likely somebody else has that same question. Do you have any, uh, um, this is more of a broad version of that question, but do you have any future advice for the students currently? So uh, just anyone, anywhere, and that's uh, probably going to watch this video. Make the best of your high school years. It is definitely the best time of your life and make those connections. Okay, and that's all we have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.